So Rade Rade, I said something. So I was so inspired this morning that I see. Yes, now now we. Can. So that we are growing because of the kind eyes from Radha and Krishna. Their lotus eyes and lotus feet are so merciful to us. And in this love, our Guru Devs are seeing us. They are looking with their eyes of mercy on us. And what they see in us, what we see in each other, and is growing inside of us. So what we see in each other is growing, and what the, the love of our Guru Devs, what they see in us will grow in our heart. I'm so thankful that I can grow under your guidance, under all of you, and especially under the guidance of our sweet Guru Dave, who sees always the best inside of us. So I'm so happy that I have such a family like all of you, and that our Guru Dave is giving blessings to us. Only by these blessings I can grow. And I'm so thankful. And by his kind, lovely lotus eyes, by the lotus eyes of Radharani, of Krishna, and from Gurudev. So they look, see always the best inside of us. So, and due to their mercy, we can grow. I'm so thankful that they see us with with the mercy of grace and love and so tolerant. Thank you. Thank you that you are all so tolerant to me that I can make some service and that I can, can grow a little bit because I'm such a fallen soul. I need all your mercy. I need the mercy of Guru Dave. And I hope that he is, a, is with us and give us blessings. Thank you. Rade, Rade. I know Marcy from long time. He's a great Mahatma. He's a great soul. He's only one So, is Suniti, is she there? Is uh, or Guru Dev? He's there? Guru Dev is speaking to you, madam. He's a great Mahatma. The only one to serve Christ. He told program that I know him first time. And his love and care for all devotees so much, I cannot expect that so humble and kind soul and always ready for service. Never think for money. He's also living in Germany. It's real, I can say you, like Madhuri service. Great service. He has the best equipment, best voice, and best mercy of helping to help. He's a great killer by some. He has a full studio for the party. Everything is good. But he's so humble and fine. <coughs> Out of belief when I see his body. That we are staying in the door. I become very close to this. And it was really great thing. So thank, thank you. you. Your name is Madhuri. You are Madhuri. And so, who have to be very Thank you. You are teaching how to be a behavior of the world.
you are the example. Yes, thank you. So nice. Madhuri means sweet. So Madhuri means the mood of Rindavan, Braj Madhuri. So the sweetness of his service and his loving mood is always so attractive. And it is reflecting in the music, in the sweet words. I want to see that. Um, I don't know. Yes. What is the program? Today also, Gurudev, after the sweet kirtan and Madhuri's sweet words, we want to continue with the sweetness of the prayers to our Srimati Radhika that come from the heart of our Shiva Prada. Wow. He is also living in his sweetness of his relationship with Srimati Radhika and expressing it by writing about her. Very, very beautiful. But my one request to you, she should say two times. It's so sweet. One time when she sings, it's not satisfying. Minimum two times you have to slow and sweet. And some explanation is that it will be very nice. Yes. Hast du verstanden, Madhuri? No, I couldn't hear you. It was only fully hacked, the sound. Aha, uh -huh. good. They said that your sound and your voice is so sweet, you always have to sing two times. Okay, okay. Yes, Guru Dave, I will do it. Thank you. Yeah, I hope, not, I hope uh, that really... You have um, the time because there are so many nice devotees who like to share from the heart. And um, thank you that you give me the space for it. Thank you very much. How are you, my you're not talking with me. <laughs> Get up. Yeah. Okay. Prem Dashan, are you there? Start your program. Okay, then I would like to ask you, Shiva Prada that he will I request share to his poem. Two times he has to Radhe to everybody. No. Happy to see you again, Gurudev and all of you. Okay, I will. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, yeah. Okay. This is the newest song for Radhika I wrote. Uh, by the mercy of her and uh, by the suggestion of uh, my sister Baba, I gave the name, first name for the song is uh, uh, Lullaby for Radha. Nice. I uh, recently yeah, said to Gurudev now, yeah. read for you. Can I start? 
Yeah. Okay. So lullaby for Radha. Oh Radhe, do you hear a rustling of leaves in a twilight through which the breeze runs its fingers? It is lullaby for you, O oh Swamini, to enter your dreams better, where Mohan is waiting for you. That when you, your eyes meet, you forget what is a dream and what is reality. O oh Radike, do you see the reddish lines of the vastness of the sky in the evening, how they change their colors? These games are only for your eyes that gently melt the hearts of all those that happiness has sent to be near you. O oh, lotus-eyed one, do you see that silent encounter of day and night turning into magic? The first touch of your lips and that of Mohan is transformed into it when the universe becomes silent and only the trembling of your words streams through the ether. O Adishwari, our queen, do you hear our hearts beating lively? O Adishwari, our queen, do you hear our hearts beating lively as we adorn you in meditation? These are just the sounds of your love, to which only love can respond in the same way. O Rade, do you see the iris flowers leaning on your windows? They offer you a scent and beauty, whose color is like your eyes. Oh, beautiful, they would descend to your tender neck to adorn you and to adorn themselves with your sweetness. O Radike, the treasury of the beauty of all worlds. Everything that comes in contact with you becomes shine, becomes fragrance, becomes music. Everything is brought to life and turns into a smile. O Swamini, do you hear the voices of the gopis as they call you on the nights when the moon tints Yamuna with a golden color. And when the stardust near your head shines on the pillow, O Sakirade, they call, come, the king of dancer is waiting. Because when you appear, O Raseshwari, the grass becomes greener, the river clearer, and the moon brighter. Everything that breathes around you turns into one breath, flickers in the same rhythm, becomes one melody. And then only the whisper of your sweet name streams through the forest of Raj. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Wow. Very nice. Thank you so much, Shiva Prada. I was just uh, amazed how much these words that come from your heart, they come from Shimati Radhika. Yeah. And what is the purpose? The purpose is not only to glorify her, but they bring us closer. Because everywhere we can see her beauty, 
everywhere we can learn how to see and feel her energy. And that is what is missing in our lives. So thank you for your beautiful poem. And it brings us closer to Shimati Radhika's and feeling her and her service. Maybe you can uh, share with us how this poem came to you. Actually, I, I cannot too clearly explain because uh, uh, these words are coming to me spontaneously, you know. It's not that I have some plan to write something. Actually, I always meditate to uh, write something about her. But it seems that uh, this coming just by her sweet will, actually, because when I push myself to say something, to find some proper words, some most beautiful words, which can come from my vocabulary and from these mundane words, I cannot find, but sometimes just spontaneously coming into mind, and then always I just grab the paper and start to uh, start to write, and then just coming from my heart. Sometimes I'm in dilemma which words to put it, uh, because uh, always it seems to me that is a. Uh, uh, it's not uh, enough uh, that uh, each word with each word I cannot explain actually uh, her beauty and her glory. These uh, words is not uh, enough uh, great to explain her actually, but somehow rather I just uh, write it and uh, uh, hope that uh, he will be that she will be satisfied with this and that. She will like it. Uh, to express emotion by words, it's not so easy, easy. Actually, you know, I'm trying to put it inside. Sometimes it seems to me the cheap way to express, you know, but maybe sometimes I repeat the same words, but I had this uh, inner inner desire to, to by words to express it and offer to her and offer to you and it's very difficult to explain. Always, uh, when I uh, finish with some poem, I think this, that's all. I cannot find uh, nothing better. I cannot uh, mm, pull from my from my heart something uh, better. I cannot explain with this mundane words her beauty, but uh, always something prompting me from inside to say. Something. Sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing. Actually, uh, back channel translation is going on. Uh, please kindly little slow. Then it's better to catch for translating. Thank you for understanding. Gerard. So you did you hear what I'm saying? I didn't understand you properly. You are here what I'm saying or what? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I saw. I should I repeat now what I say or what? So just uh, please go on and just uh, but uh, we should uh, explain our situation. Then it's more test uh, we can.
I don't know. I don't know what to say else about this. This how these uh, words coming. I uh, explained you already. So. Actually, as Goranga Sundar the, told us last time, by the poetry is uh, is actually is maybe the best way to glorify Radhika from this uh, position. I mean, from this uh, body. Actually, I uh, I feel always such ex excitement when I address her with actually this poetry and with the. Uh, nice words and uh, uh, actually this is the first time in my life since uh, I came in the contact with you and uh, uh, with this with, with, when this uh, tendency uh, to approach the Radha and Krishna in this intimate way uh, it was uh, very surprising for me uh, when I start to feel such a kind of uh, emotion, actually. And uh, after some time, I uh, felt that this is a became very normal, actually, way to address Radha and Krishna in such a way. Maybe it was necessary in the past uh, to go through the Vaidhi school, actually, to learn how to serve, how to approach but uh, now I can realize that is actually everything what we did uh, for Radha and Krishna actually have to lead us to come in the position to approach the, them with very natural, emotional, personal way. This is our real position and this tendency we have to develop deep in us and continue, of course, by the mercy of Guru Manjari and all of devotees who can understand this. And we need support. Actually, always we need support to continue to go on with this, actually. And uh, good news is actually uh, this can be can go deeper and deeper. Actually, it's my small realization that uh, uh, it's not that uh, we just uh, uh come in one um, level that we as in my personal case it was like this that i come in one um, state that when uh, i was asking myself is it really a proper feeling is it a really proper way to address to approach the radica actually because my previous school was uh, such that I was always in dilemma how to continue because it uh, really wasn't enough what I learned in how I deal to Radha and Krishna. Especially Radhika was uh, uh, hidden for me actually. This was, you know, just uh, it was always preaching in the past and uh, I think uh, unfortunately still exists that uh, it's not uh, uh, our platform, actually, uh, to approach Radhika in the intimate way. But actually, <laughs> is as we can see, when uh, Radhika came into our heart, that uh, real spiritual life, real emotion, uh, real understanding of uh, uh, philosophy of Radha, Krishna consciousness, uh, coming actually in our life and uh, this on this way uh, happiness coming actually sometimes I think that I'm happiest man in the in the world actually servant so it's uh, still a uh, too fast uh, sun suniti I like what you say and I know when one is in the feelings, it's difficult to control. You are speaking with your bath, so. I don't know. I'm still in dilemma how to speak and what to say, actually. <laughs> it's just coming spontaneously from my heart, actually. I don't know. Some, I'm not some 
guy who will uh, speak on some philosophical way, you know, will know everything actually we can read in the books, but what we re read in the books actually is just, uh, just have to be inspiration to come into emotion actually and go deeper and deeper. And this is, I always repeat, this is really good news that you yeah, can go deeper with emotion and uh, to serve. This is um, actually um, service for Radhika and uh, association in this environment actually is like an ocean, actually. We can do so many things, things to express uh, so many feelings and make such exchange to be happy in this lifetime, actually. Now I can, cannot imagine uh, the other way, actually, to, with, uh, to continue with my spirituality. Actually, I cannot see nothing uh, higher than this. Maybe somebody else is in uh, some other mood, but is for me personally is this is a really highest actually and i don't uh, need i don't want nothing more nothing else there is no nothing uh, beautier nothing uh, elevate uh, more elevating than this uh, disposition actually to be humble servant of radhika this is why you know as well see such a sweet feeling such a cannot explain by words actually it's uh, just such a sweetness uh, coming every day always been when address her on some way especially in the meditation actually externally we have so many um, uh, so many opportunities to serve her in external way actually but to uh, by my experience, by my experience, when we going uh, deeper and deeper in meditation, in meditation to serve her, is so many horizons opening inside in our hearts, actually, and uh, that we can really know that is uh, actually our real, uh, real world, which we can uh, stay forever and uh, serve just and uh, enjoy in uh, her enjoyment and uh, help her and uh, her servants uh, to make her happy. This is our happiness, actually, nothing more of this. You know it better than me, so I just cannot say nothing special, actually, just express the emotion and that's all. It's the batch that, that just the uh, mercy of the of Baba Bhakta, actually, right? Like uh, Mahababa, my sister, who spoke about Radhika, and uh, to me, she is my very old friend, actually. And uh, I uh, was a little bit uh, shy and uh, don't feel a certainty in the heart, actually was afraid how I can approach, it's not uh, it's a too high level or whatever, but this radical is uh, coming uh, in a heart in such a sweet and such a beautiful way that you forget actually everything else and just want to just go on and uh, serve nothing more of this, so. Maybe I can stop here if you have some question or something. It's a, you know this better than me, of course. One thing I want to say. Mahaprabhu always talked about Chandi Das and Vidyapati. Right? Why he is talking? Their songs are also for Radharani and Krishna. 
एंड नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर और आवर आचार्य भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर दे आल्सो सिंगर ऑफ द सॉन्ग सॉन्ग्स कैन नॉट कम विदाउट स्फूर्ति एंड व्हाट इज स्फूर्ति इज स्पॉन्टेनियस Shiva Pradhap, when he talks, he talks in his puti, and I watch him, and his songs, words, what he is explaining is all his spurt is pura. He is looking there. His divine vision is looking and writing this. He not feel sufficient, but he try to give the words. Similarly, now my Jananda Maharaj also become singer. At this time, I see he become musician. He is coming. You will see now he talk my less and singing more. Means he is really realized first. He got the realization to go in so deep that he can feel the spurti, a spontaneous love of some. Is a great thing. Thank you. It grows more and more. This happens in life, and more become not to repeat that words again cannot come. It flow from the heart. When that time will come in my life that it happens to like you to everyone. Thank you, Shiva Prada. Name is not fit for this, but I know change your name because you know by this name. Name changing, you become famous with this name. I want that. So you are totally Radha Dasi. Changes name is changing or not th- changing. She is your Swami. You are connected with that, but people will know what you are doing. Then I will be more proud to feel and see that. Thank you. You are a great soul. I have too much love and respect for you. And always do this. Thank you. I will always pray for you, to somebody that you be more more madness come to you, that all will be benefited by through you. Thank you. Rather.
Wonderful. Someone else would like to share on this to continue the flow of this beauty of glorification of Srimati Radhika. Wow, wow. Long time I have not switched. Wow, wow has to come. It's not cold so you know the fans. Mahava, are you there? We're there just now. Sorry, did anyone say my name? Yes, Gurdiv was calling you. Oh, I, I didn't hear because I can't understand what he's saying because it's distorted. Oh, Gurdiv would like you to share. He hasn't heard you for such a long time, he said. If you can share. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I I was just... Uh, I wasn't prepared. Um, I just came back from my work and I will have to go back to work. <laughs> so, yes, actually, I, I, I was thinking about this, uh, how when, when uh, Shiva Prada is so kind each time, he, he's so kind that he sends, after she, he reads the song first to Radhika, then he sends his songs to me so I can see and I, I actually help him translate the songs. And I feel so fortunate that somehow he has this, uh, this is like a great mercy that I, I'm allowed to participate in this, um, in his bhav actually, to to somehow support it by help of translation. And what I have experienced, experienced during uh, reading these songs, and also he, he usually sen uh, sends a voice message when he reads the songs, and it's even deeper when you hear him speak the song himself, is that Probably all also you have this experience yourself when you hear him read the song, you immediately see the picture of it. You see pictures. And uh, when those beautiful words, the beautiful descriptions are there, immediately it's a portal. It, the gate opens and we are also able to get inside of that realm of his meditation, but then it doesn't stay as his own, but it becomes ours also, because we also can get inside. And then we see these pictures, just like a few days ago, I was listening to the previous recording of, the, of his sharing of the songs, of his song, from March 16th, I think. And then he mentions a cherry blossom that is lit up by the morning sun and it resembles Radhika's sweet red lips. And yeah. just imagine this picture, how this morning sun is rising and this cherry, cherry blossoms are all reddish from the morning rays of the morning sun and then you see Radhika's face and it's all lit up by sun actually she's glowing and she's making these beautiful flowers even more beautiful so so these pictures appear in our minds when we read these songs and and similar experiences when i see labangalatika's painting paintings Actually, all of us, the three of us, are very much connected. And then we have feelings that we are somehow connected also in our 
in the spiritual uh, realm also. So because this is so amazing. Shiva writes a song and he he reads it. And then we get inspired by his songs. Uh, um, La Bangalatika starts painting something and then Shiva gets inspired by the painting and then he writes another song. And then uh, maybe I make some music for that, like a background. And then it's, it going, it's going back and forth in this creative way how uh, just so spontaneously it goes back and forth and we just feel like instruments in Radhika's hands but at the same time we feel so fortunate that we can in this way somehow also support each other but it's not as, as Shiva Prada said it's not going uh, on purpose or consciously it, it just you just feel the the urge to to express yourself what you just experienced and it adds up you know uh, like like a big puzzle is created a little bit from a song a little bit from music a little bit from painting and then the whole multi-dimensional uh, um, experience is this way created but I, we had this feeling that those people who are actually not experiencing similar things, they will see the, you know, the ex external imperfections. But uh, I also have experienced that all of us here who are actually already inside of this, it's much easier for us to catch up on those the words, the brush, brush strokes, or the music, and and then we can just easily slide in, like uh, jump in to the realm. And then I think uh, Ragunat has mentioned earlier, some months ago, I think, when he was describing these transcendental paintings, and the same thing came also to my experience that we see a painting and then we look at it and maybe some things are not even there but we start seeing beyond what is on the picture actually if if you understand what i'm trying <laughs> to say like you see something on the painting but then as the more you look at it the scenery starts developing and you start seeing with your inner eyes more and more of what is actually going on there. The same is, is Shiva Prada's pain, uh, poems, is that the more you listen to it, the more you read it, uh, it starts opening up the doors and the windows, whatever you call them, and, and you jump in and you can also experience more and more. So this is so beautiful. Uh, because art, poetry, uh, any kind of art is very important in, in uh, enhancing feelings and, and spiritual um, experiences, actually. Thank you. <laughs> this is my small contribution. The mood of the artist to understand artists. Artists are Pagla, mad person, they are not normal. They are not normal. And they are very sick in one point. They can find many details by spurty, by spontaneously madness, can show many. So the lucky person become artist. Mahabhav is also one of them. He didn't die. And is a lot of important. Thank you.
very good. To feel the real subject. Now I will say Shiva Prada. Again he gave this song. Poetry. What we write today. Repeat it now. Go on. Shiva Prada, you should repeat your song, I, I think. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Read it again. This song, same. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. just a second. Thank you, because you're encouraging me so much, all of you. Thanks a lot. This is everything for mercy at Guru Dev and Radhika, of course. Your spurti. I can feel your spurti. Spontaneous love for her. Okay. Can you hear me properly, yes? Very good. Okay. Yes. Okay, I will repeat just a second. Not far. So, name of the song once again is a Lullaby for Radha. <clears throat> Oh, Radhe, do you hear the rustling of leaves in a twilight through which the breeze runs its fingers? It is lullaby for you, O oh Swamini, to enter your dreams better, where Mohan is waiting for you, that when your eyes meet, you forget what is a dream, and what is reality? Wow. Oh, Radike, do you see the reddish lines on the vastness of the sky in the evening, how they change their colors? These games are only for your eyes that gently melt the hearts of all those that happiness has sent to be near you. O oh, lotus eyed one, do you see that silent in encounter of day and night turning into magic? The first touch of your lips and that of Mohan is transformed into it when the universe becomes silent and only the trembling of your words streams through the ether. O Adishwari, our queen, do you hear our hearts beating lively as we adorn you in meditation? These are just the sounds of your love to which only love can respond in the same way. Oh, Rade, do, do you see the iris flowers leaning on your windows? They offer you a scent and beauty whose color is like your eyes. Oh, beautiful. They would descend to your tender neck to adorn you and to adorn themselves with your sweetness. O Radike, the treasury of the beauty of all worlds. Everything that comes in contact with you becomes shine, becomes fragrance, becomes music. Everything is brought to life and turns into a smile. O Swamini, do you hear the voices of the gopis as they call you on the nights when the moon tints Yamuna with a golden color. And when the stardust near your head shines on the pillow. O Sakirade, 
they call, come, the king of dancers is waiting, because when you appear, Ora Seshwari, the grass becomes greener, the river clearer, and the moon brighter. Everything that breaths around you turns into one breath, flickers in the same rhythm, becomes one melody. And then only the whisper of your sweet name streams through the forest of Raj. Uh, thank you. I, I just want to add something, if you allow, it just uh, appear in my, in my mind, like right now. Actually, my experience is, uh, uh, actually, when I addressed uh, Radhika with, uh, uh, in this way, with, uh, with the poems and with some nice words, uh, how actually, uh, uh, how actually uh, em emotions uh, can become alive and how, how uh, uh, how is uh, actually in an easy way we can uh, make connection uh, with her and with uh, this uh, this uh, divine divinity in uh, ourselves? Actually, it's uh, we have to just uh, I think by my experience just to in a very very normal very spontaneous way to approach always Radhika and then she always. Uh, is responding in the same way and uh, give us this happiness in the heart. Actually, it's uh, also it's your experience. I'm sure I didn't say nothing uh, special. Radhe, Radhe. I, I shared the, the songs in few parts uh, in the chat box, so it maybe it's easier for also for those who are translating to just copy it, and then you will and everyone you can copy it and you can read it later maybe maybe if if that's okay. Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you, Mahabhav, and thank you also, Shriva Prada. So I want to ask any other devotees, brother Dasis out there who want to share on these beautiful artistic ways to connect with love. I ask also Labanga Latika, but she wanted to share something next week. So, so thank you so much, Shiva Prada Didi, uh, Prabhu. So, sorry, I said Didi. You, you are very <laughs> sweet poetry. And in this mood, my humble request is uh, our Jayananda Maharaj is here after a long time. And just uh, our Sad Maharaj said uh, he became a singer. And uh, I heard recently he traveled with uh, one family with 20, over 20 devotees. And their kids said Jayananda Maharaj made 
many new songs. Our humble request is please sing some or some sharing your nectar. Gerade. How about this idea, Suniti Devi? Yes, very good. We are always waiting for mercy from Jayananda Maharaj. So, I feel Shiva, Shiva Prada, Babu's poetry. I think first time, I don't know which month, maybe February or maybe January. Once I heard, I was completely shocked. I have, I don't have such talent with me. Completely, you know, rather than give you. I, I felt I'm completely like, uh, <laughs> uh, no, no talent compared to Shiva Prada Pabu. But uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I like make song with, with, with Radha. And uh, just a minute. So we we went to I went to one one island and uh, Brindavaneshwari Didi she has uh, five kids and all five kids is ch chanting and uh, so uh, and then we are singing, singing, and uh, so I request children, please go sleep. No, I want to, <laughs> I want more here. And uh, interesting, because singing is uh, my feeling like this, to write some, some, some song, some, some poet. I have to think and meditate the scene, Radha Mohan's scene, and try to try to find the word, and then try to make some some mood explain in 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 melody, and then someone else, <laughs> at that time I have to concentrate completely in 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 this matter. So. I, and then that expression is, is give me more inspiration. And if other people say, oh, it is good, and then give me inspiration. And if other people could remember the, the, some leader, because I, I don't know, I don't know, it, it, it's not good, maybe not good, but the truth, Last time in, in my travel, I have so much inspiration. I tried to write Nishantarira. You know, like we, we do Mongolatic. Every, every day we attend Mongolatic. And how, how, so far is our meditation in, in, in Mongolatic. So Radharani, was in sleeping in Nikunja with Mohan. So slowly, slowly, you know, night is finishing, but Radharani does not want to leave with Mohan because he's embracing. So, and, uh, but the time is coming. Brinda Devi is calling some, you know, birds. Please sing 
please wake them up. Because otherwise, sun is coming. So at that time, Radha Rani does not want to wake up, does not leave Mohan. But also, same time, she was also a little bit afraid because, because Jatira, if they notice Radha Rani is outside or does not come back in time, on time. So somebody said, Jatira's name, they become a little bit afraid. And then they try to go back home, but they are completely crying, you know, almost crying. But they have to go. So in that scene, I, I, I literally, I made some poem. I singing the children. <laughs> Then children saying, oh, I could remember. I could, rem you know, I, got, I could, I could understand. I could do a kind of, kind of seeing. Children is very, very, they are very pure hearted. So they, they are, they kind of, they are more imagining. So I completely shocked. And uh, they, their feeling is much higher than me sometimes. So in that kind of song, <laughs> I sometimes, like spontaneous I was making. Because, why? Because I like it. No reason. I love Rada. Why? Because I don't know. I love it. I made one song. I sing Radha's name. Why? Because I love Radha. I love all of you. Why? Because I love Radha. I don't want to forget Radha because Radha is my life and soul. I don't want to forget Radha because Radha is always protecting us. I don't want to forget Radha because I love Radha very much. Kind of simple song, you know. And then children like it. So I just do. Uh, and uh, in a kind of singing. And also yesterday, yesterday I wrote one song. Is Radharasa Sdanidi is, is, I think, first, but no, no, maybe second bus or third bus. And that bus describes Mohan. Mohan get some fragrance of Radhika's cross. Then Mohan is completely mud after Radha. And then, uh, Mohan's heart is like a, like a trembling because Radha's fragrance is so sweet. And, and Radha's fragrance is unlimited, give us unlimited bliss because it gives so much ecstasy for us because so sweet. And if Radha Mo Mohan smell that fragrance, Mohan become completely mud and he, he fell down. And then Mohan, Mohan or maybe, maybe Radha Dashi is saying, or rather, or rather, so we love you. You are so, so great, kind of in a song. So this is, I, you know, I like it. I, I love Rada. And so 
I slowly, slowly recognize if I make some song and people more easy to understand and more, more easy to get some, some, some feeling. Also, some get some, Guru Dev saying, spurity. Spurity is like kind of a vision. So, now I'm thinking might be it help uh, other people just simple song because sometimes like for us sometimes to read Radha Rasa like Radha Rasa is is it too much time but if we couldn't do some song then it might be we can feel very simple word and uh, people more could remember that leader, that scene. So I think Siva Prada Pabu and uh, what I'm doing is might be different, but uh, just we want to express our feeling to, to, to Rada. And as if, if it helps other people remember Rada <coughs> or Rada Mohan's leader, uh, that might be, you know, good. But I don't know, but I like it. Yes, I, I like, I love Rada. So, so I want to, exp you know, I, put, I want to express some feeling to, to, to Rada. That is, you know, that's it. Thing, thing, I like this. My God, this is, a, I did not practice it. <laughs> So sorry, this is I did not prepare in in English. So sorry, I want to sing in Japanese. So this this word is like this. This is fragrance of Rada. So Rada's fragrance is un, give us unlimited bliss. That fragrance. Due to this fragrance, our heart is trembling because of so sweet fragrance. If Lada's fragrance enter in uh, this nostril, it gives us so much pleasure, so much bliss. If Krishna touch that fragrance, Krishna mat after Lada. Yeah. And Krishna Krishna fell down on the ground. I did not mention it, but uh, Manjari has to help. It. I don't know. Just a minute. I did not. <laughs> because I did not do anything like this kind of. Can you hear? Oh, sorry.
like this. Sorry, I did. <laughs> Very joyful. Thank you. Sorry, I did not expect anything, you know. But I so but uh, due to Shiva Prada Prabhu, I I also give he he give me some inspiration. So I always appreciate his poem. I request to him, please send us. <laughs> Uh, where yeah. are you hiding uh, till now? This uh, why, why you didn't express it it earlier? You know, you, you may maybe you have some something more to hide it from from us. <laughs> so, if if you know if if somebody can translate in good to in English, maybe I try to you know maybe next time, maybe in Europe, maybe we can share more. It sounds. In even like this in Japanese, it's uh, really beautiful. Thanks, thank you very much. Thank you. One thing I want to share about this song. May I share? Yes. Thank you so much. And today, uh, yesterday we returned to Japan, and today we talked with Jananda Maharaj, and Jananda Maharaj kindly sharing this music today with Andaka Prabhu. Then Andaka Prabhu said, this is the best music what he made. At that time, I didn't listen nicely, but uh, now I listen <coughs> how beautiful spirit he has. Just listen once. This song makes our heart too bright. It's a difficult word, but uh, many effusions come. Just listening, but uh, like uh, we really smell Radha's fragrance. What a beautiful moment. Again and again, we want to listen from you. And this feeling makes us more like a sakti. So, thank you very much, Shiva Prada Di Prabhu and Jananda Maharaj. Thank you so much. Very beautiful moment. And thank you for seeing it again and again, arranging this beautiful sharing. Jai Sri Ram.
Yes, I want to say that uh, I feel the innocence and the sweetness in this song, and this is uh, the nature of the mandris. So if we can connect with it in any any way, it will be helping all of us who are listening and all of those who are sharing. It not, needs not to be perfect. It can only be in this natural way. And natural is the most uh, closest to schematic article. Thank you. Anybody else would like to share? So good if you see all of us by your mercy we were coming younger and younger also. <laughs> Very much all of the mercy I see. Brother Rani is so merciful to me. All are ready for helping to others. My daughter Sundar said. Without how not as I we cannot serve and help. Yeah. Yes, sometimes when we listen to these Sanskrit words, it seems so far away, but in in reality, it is so close to him. That is what I feel. The reality of Shimati Radhika's love is natural. It is without fear. And it's very innocent and sweet. It is not complicated. But we need some... I can only speak for myself. But whenever I'm together with all of you, then the sparks come naturally in my heart and also my heart will become young and fresh and innocent. Yeah, Very nice having Very proud of you. Nice. Nice sharing. Thank you.
थैंक यू राधे राधे